Can the advent of e-currency be a beacon of financial hope for poor countries, or does it merely serve as a new form of control for the already marginalized? This is a question that reverberates across the globe as we delve into the world of digital currency. In a world that rapidly evolves towards digitalization, the concept of e-currency has gained significant traction. It's a revolutionary innovation that has the potential to change the financial landscape, offering a myriad of benefits such as convenience, speed, and reduced transaction costs. But as with any innovation, it's not without its drawbacks. Take, for instance, the recent situation in Nigeria. The Central Bank of Nigeria has introduced a policy that limits cash withdrawals to just $44 per week, effectively forcing people to switch to e-currency. However, the average Nigerian needs $40 a day to survive, highlighting a stark contrast between policy and reality. E-currency, while fully controlled by the central bank, also has a limited shelf life and restrictions on use. These restrictions can pose a significant challenge to the poor, who may lack the necessary resources or knowledge to navigate the digital financial landscape. Yet it's not all doom and gloom. E-currency also holds potential benefits for poor countries. It could help to reduce corruption, increase financial inclusion, and accelerate economic growth. But for this to happen, the implementation of e-currency needs to be tailored to the specific needs and capacities of these countries. It's clear that the introduction of e-currency in poor countries is a complex issue. It's a balancing act between leveraging the benefits of digital currency and mitigating its potential risks. This global financial experiment is still in its infancy, and its success or failure will undoubtedly have far-reaching implications. In conclusion, the use of e-currency in poor countries presents both opportunities and challenges. It can potentially transform the financial landscape, driving economic growth and financial inclusion. However, it's essential to ensure that this transformation is inclusive and does not exacerbate existing inequalities.